Welcome back everybody to the Delft channel. After a lot of messages for people to want to know more AI tools to help their businesses, we are back and we are introducing you this week to Flare.ai. Flare.ai is the software that is basically an AI design tool for your products. Okay, so this video and this tool is mostly going to be interesting for all of you entrepreneurs, early startup founders and project owners out there that have products and not services. This tool in particular will be able to help you with not just creating images at all that would have cost a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars in photo shoots before, but also make so many variations and so many versions and entirely new concepts so much faster. It is unbelievable. Yeah, let's have a look. All right. So this is the homepage of uh, Flare.ai. And uh, if you create with Flare, create an account and you click new project. So if you click new project, what will happen is that you will be able to see a product placeholder here. And then on the right side, you will see the result of your image generation. Okay, so for everyone who has, you know, played a little bit around with Midjourney or DALI of these like image generation AI softwares, of course, this is built on the same technology. But the key difference here is that this is based with your product in the center. Okay, this is not to play around, not to see how far AI art is taking us, etc. This is specifically designed to build a photo shoot or a surrounding that matches your product with everything, with lighting, with the effects, with the colors, with the general style of it. It's amazing. So for today, let's pretend we are a phone company, uh, a phone case maker. I just want to tell you that you can shoot your photo of your product at home. As long as you have some kind of a decent newer smartphone camera, get a good light, do it outside and get a good picture of it. Do a few different shots of different angles and you can just upload them in your folder. All right, so let's just pretend we have our photo from our phone case right here. And uh, we're gonna click on upload product photo. So upload, resize it a bit. And then the second step, obviously, is to go to edit here on the top left bar and click remove background, the first one in tools. Click that. After just a few seconds, you will see the background is pretty impressively removed. I mean, this one is like, you know, Photoshop, cutout level, well made and ready to use. Okay, so now to say the first step is done. We have our product just in the lighting and the style that we shot it in with our with our iPhone or whatever. And now we're going to click on generate, step number two. On generate, you can see here there are three sections. One time, the product. So this is literally just describing the product. So this is a black phone case, iPhone case. And then the second one is placement. And the third one is background. So placement means like it's kind of like placed on top of like a box or a table or like a stone. So I'm, I'm sure if you're selling something more like with a natural vibe, like that comes becomes quite helpful if you say like it's on top of like a, a few rocks, but then the background is like a mountain range or something like that. So I think for our geeky looking case here, let's just say it's on black rock and then the background is a abstract 3D grid-like material with a matrix feel. And then render strings can, let's do that extra strong, color strings extra strong and outline strings also extra strong. Um, just because I want to show you the quality, of course, if you just want to try a few ones out, then you can just leave it on the standard settings. But let's just give it a few seconds and see what our next photo shoot of our phone case product might look like to see uh, how we can build up our Instagram account. All finished products will appear here. And I mean, this one looks already pretty cool. If you think that you didn't have any, you know, photo shoot and like this looks a little bit like an outdoory case and uh, okay, my matrix um, <laughs> prompt didn't go so well, but besides that on a black rock with, you know, like, uh, 
it was like a grid like material i think that one that one worked out pretty well so this was just one example right we're just going to put this here say okay not not bad but uh, we definitely can do better so let's go back into generate and go here to generate and then click on the editor and then we go to product and say uh, phone just let's describe it a little bit differently maybe that it does something for us top of a natural hill mountains and cloudy skies and let's just see one time where the suggested prompt will take us from here so we're going to click generate and what do we have today there we go i mean like we're starting to get a very outdoorsy adventurous brand built here and the crazy thing is really that you can see that the lighting of the photo has actually also been changed according to the background right like here you can see the brightness of the reflection is so much stronger and here with the blues and the greens the colors of the product itself also have been toned down a little bit. So this really matches what happens together with the background and with the prompts that you're giving. It's not just someone put the product on top of whatever generated background you produce. And you can keep going. And you can also, of course, just like change it very little. And let's try something a little bit more abstract of saying like, okay, the placement, the phone is on top of uh, abstract silver liquid or water with uh, 3d uh, little balls change this to again see what comes out of there because i would like to achieve a little bit more of a metallic look so yeah there we go now we're talking this is what i want to see i mean nothing against being outdoors but uh this one definitely has pretty cool techy vibe to it of promoting my new phone case brand so all right, I will stop here, but you can see that just spending 15 minutes, 30 minutes with this tool, I will promise you that once you find the right keywords and like the right brand words, right, that you associate to your brand and like keep repeating them, but in a different style or in a different way, you will be able to produce so much content that looks pretty pretty decent i mean if you're just alone if you have a very small team and photo shoots are not an option this is definitely an amazing alternative i hope you guys found it helpful as always ai tool segment by delve my name is yoji leave up a like and share this video with others that you might think find help in this and see you next week cheers